So today I'm going to try an inspection, just a minor quick inspection to see how things are going with at, after adding the second box and I'm going to try it without a bee suit today and see how it goes. Um, have some friends over to see my bees because uh, they're thinking of letting me uh, have a hive over in their yard that they'll host for me. So we'll see how this goes. So last week I moved three of the brood frames up into this new box. So frames three, five, and seven were the ones I moved up. And it looks like they've been drawing out some comb, so I'll take some things out and take a look at it and uh, see what they've been up to. See how they're building the comb? See those bees hanging in the middle? Making that chain. What's that word again? Festoon. <laughs> yeah, festoon. Yeah. That's how they build the comb. That's how they know what is vertical. They can hang the comb down in there. This one they've been filling up with honey. Looks like. Here's a frame. This is one of the ones I moved up from the bottom box. This has brood in it. So you can see what the brood looks like. I'll bring it over there so you can see it. It's safe. Don't worry. They won't get you. But you can see here. Can you see the larva inside there? Mm -hmm. That's the bee larva. And then after it gets to a certain age, they put a cap on it. And that's what you can see here. All these little cappings up right there. I don't remember which way this came out. It was this way. Are they pretty particular about the way it came out and the way it's in? Yeah. I think, I think it, it was way. on that, yeah, yeah, that way. This way. That's right, because that's the way I usually grab it with my hands. That little piece of comb was on that side of the hive, too. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Good. You have what, like a half inch between them? Um, yeah, there's these bars on the ends maintain the space. Because if they're too far apart, then they make the comb thicker. And they, they don't space the comb correctly. I want them to be building the comb on this vertical, no, on this on this bar here. And if they're if the frames are spaced too far apart, they'll start putting it on the edges of each of the frame, they'll actually build two comb on the one frame and then it gets d difficult to inspect. That one doesn't have brood then? This one has eggs. It's hard to see them because they're the same color as the comb. The comb one is new is white and the eggs are white too, but you can see in the very bottom center of the cell, oh, little I specks. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't have any... Oh, <laughs> so is this all one queen? Yeah, one? just one queen in the in the hive. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see her. She's a hard one to spot because there's so many bees in here. We've seen her a couple times though. 
So really when I'm doing my inspection, instead of looking for the queen, I just look for eggs. And if there's eggs, then I know that she's in here. So everything looks good. And they've been building up the comb in this new box. What do bees do if I can hide that? They'll take the dead bee out at the front. You can see some dead bee corpse laying in the front right there. They just they have mort mortician bees that take the bees out and drop them off somewhere. Oh. Yeah, they just turn the dramatic eye. Yeah. You can see some more honey on this frame. Up in the top. You can see the capped honey over here on this corner. On the brood frames, they tend to have the brood in the center, kind of in a football shape. And then they have, they'll usually put palm just above that, but I don't see any on this frame. And they'll put honey around the edge on the top. So are these brood or are these honey? That's brood. And the capping is different for brood. Honey's It's kind of light. a brown, rough looking cap, but honey is a white smooth cap. That's all I'm going to do on this box. So how often do you inspect them? I've been inspecting them um, sometimes about once a week. Maybe not doing a full inspection every week, but at least taking a peek as much as I can. Sometimes, you know, if I've been out of town, I may skip that weekend. These glue everything together in the hive with propolis. That's a brown sticky What's stuff. What the heck did they do? They have been building up because there's room in there to do that. They like to build some really wild looking comb in the honey areas. They want it to be as thick as possible to fill it up. So they, they've been going nuts up in here with some weird comb. Like so putting, I'm going to take this one out and show you how crazy it is. Specifically putting comb on comb. Like capping it over, then putting another layer on that. So when they have to use it, they just rip apart. Hmm? If they're filling over the other one, when they have to go use their supply, do they just dig down? Yeah. They, they can chew up the wax that's in the way and, move, and relocate it. This one is very heavy. It probably weighs about 10 pounds. Nothing but honey. Here's that wild comb. That's how thick they're drawing it out. And the uh, wavy, bumpy, multi layer. Ridiculous size here. You can see. How they they have multiple layers going here. Can you see it in the camera? Um, hold on, I'll zoom in a little bit so the sun doesn't come away. Hold on, I'm gonna loosen this up. Really good spot. Oh, okay, it won't adjust to that brightness scale, but yeah, sort of. Yeah. You can stand back here and take a peek inside if you want. You can get it. That bigger bee right down the bottom of the frame there? Yeah. That's a drone. Oh, this side is much smaller. He can only make, he make with his queen. What does he do? He hangs out inside the hive, mooching off of the workers, and goes out during the day at some time. Sometime it go for a little flight to see if he can find another queen. So once a queen is 
effectively fertilized, she's staying in the hive the rest of the time? Yeah, she'll stay in there until, the, until it's time to swarm. Then she'll slim down. She'll stop laying eggs for a little while, slim down, get ready for her flight to swarm. And uh, when it's time, she'll go with the swarm and leave, leave some queen cells behind that will grow into new queens. So there's a new queen like every year? Yeah, that's their goal. They want to do a reproductive swarm every year, or when, as much as possible, really. Where they'll um, make a new queen, and the old queen will leave with half the bees, and they'll make a new home somewhere else. That's how bees repopulate. 